Hi, this is Jason O'Dell with a Capture NX2 tip. Today's tip is custom white balance. And custom white balance is a very powerful tool if you're shooting raw with your Nikon DSLR. And it allows you to not only get the white balance uh, absolutely correct in your image, but you can also copy and paste a custom white balance setting across multiple images. This can be useful if you're in tricky mixed lighting sit, uh, situations uh, or if you use a gray card you can uh, copy and paste a custom white balance setting across a bunch of images in the file browser. So today I'll show you how to do that. I'll start off by opening my file browser and choosing a NEF file that I want to work on. So I'll choose this one and I'll double click on it and it will open in the NX window. I'll hit the F key on my keyboard and that'll give me the full frame view and then I'll hit uh, command zero or control zero to enlarge the image to fit the, uh, the window in my screen. Now to get to the white balance settings on a raw file you need to open the camera settings uh, item in the develop section of the edit list. So I'm going to go ahead and collapse quick fix here and then open up camera settings. And what you can see in camera settings is that the very first item is white balance. And you have these controls as long as you've shot your file in NEF format. Now this particular image, uh, I chose it because not only is the white balance a little bit strange, there was some weird fluorescent lighting uh, inside this museum. Uh, but I also chose this image because I happen to have some regions in here. If you look here on the side of the race car or this pillar here that are uh, more or less a neutral gray tone. Had I shot with a Weibel card or another kind of gray card, um, I could use that uh, image as, uh, as a um, template to set my custom white balance. But since I didn't use a, a gray card for this image, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and use the neutral areas in the image itself. So what I want to do is go back to the image edit list over here on the right hand side of the screen and I'm going to click where it says set color temperature. And I'm going to choose set gray point. When you do that, you see this sample gray point menu appear and this is where you can interact with the application to, to tell it where the custom uh, gray point is. And rather than using a single point which is the default, I'm going to use the marquee sample option. So I'll click that and then I'm going to click the start button. Once I do that, I'm going to get my icon, uh, my mouse turns into an eyedropper and I can come over to the image and select any area that I think is a neutral tone. So I'm going to just click and drag where I believe that is and then release. And when that happens the image refreshes with the new white balance applied. I'll come back over here to the white balance setting and I'll re-click the start. That stops the um, application from uh, calculating white balance. It, it uh, makes the eyedropper mouse cursor disappear and I'm pretty much good to go at this point and then I could go out and edit the rest of this image. But the whole beauty of, of working with RAW files is that you can um, paste settings between images and you can get very natural results because you're just massaging the RAW data and recalculating it. So what I want to do is I want to paste this white balance setting across a bunch of my other files that were shot in the same lighting conditions in the same shoot. So to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the white balance area here and what you can see here is that this is highlighted. The white balance section here above picture control is a little bit lighter gray than the other controls. Then I can click on the gear icon which is the batch tool and then choose copy adjustments, the first item in the list. That's going to copy just this white balance setting. I can then collapse camera settings and go back to the file browser. I'll click the plus here to expand the file browser out. Now what I need to do is just choose images and I can either shift click to select a range of images or I can choose command click or if you're on the PC control click to select individual images. Each one of these images has a lighting condition that's similar to what my original shot was. Once I've done that I can either right click or go down to the batch icon in the browser which is down here in the lower left corner click this and I select paste adjustments you'll get an alert di dialog at this point 
and it asks you whether or not you want to replace the current settings in the files or if you want to just um, before you do that whether you want to show the differences between the uh, the original files and the ones you're going to paste into since I know that this white balance setting is something that I want I'm going to go ahead and leave it as replace current settings and click OK once I've clicked OK I get the processing queue and this is my last chance to abort the mission if you will um, if you're good to go you can click the start button up here at the top of the dialog box it shows you which files are going to be processed and it tells you where they're going to be saved and in this case the default is to save them with their original file name in the original folder uh, as a NEF however if I wanted to uh, save a copy of the file I could choose a different file name or even a different destination if you wanted to preserve an original copy of your of your files. Since I don't need to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and write these data right into the original raw files. All I need to do now is click start and the batch process will uh, take place. So once the batch process is done, all of my files will then have the new custom white balance applied to them and then I can edit them individually if I so choose. And that's how you set custom white balance and paste it across multiple images in Capture NX 2.0.